biggest red flag? That's a really hard one. I'm I'm quite easy, you know. What did he say? Hey. Oh. Do you have like an ick or anything like that? An ick. You know, no, but mine's really specific. Okay. So like, if someone was gonna go in a water slide on a holiday, yeah, and they waited for the man to give the thumbs up. Yeah. That's a bit of an ick, isn't it? Like they're just waiting there. Well, it's an ick because they're following the rules. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So Maybe I like a bad boy. Maybe my ick's good boys. So if basically, if they're waiting for the lifeguard to say go, yeah, you, they're, then no, they're that's done. icky. They're done. That's icky. Yeah. What's your biggest red flag? Biggest red flag. Um, deleting Instagram posts. <laughs> deleting Instagram posts. As soon as he's turned single. Why is that a red flag? Well, like you got you got to embrace the memories, right? You got to enjoy the relationship that happened rather than you know cover up the past and move on. Are you talking from experience? No, not at all. Okay, so if so if they break up with someone and then they delete all of their posts with that person, that's a red flag. You can't erase history. You can't, so they should just leave it up forever. Yeah. Okay, so if they have three different boyfriends. Right? That's what. Ask him if he gets pegged. Do you get pegged? No comment. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but yeah, you can't you can't delete history. And at the end of the day. You gotta move. Yeah, you, know, you gotta embrace what happened and then embrace that it happened and just become a better person. So, so if someone has like say five different like relationships, yeah. they have to keep all photos from all five relationships on their post forever. I mean, it's up to them, but ultimately they gotta accept that the relationships happened in the past and that when they find the one, then they they look back and say, well, it happened. You know. So they can't delete it, is what you're saying. It's up to them, but I would say well, I wouldn't delete it. Excuse me. What's your guys' red flags? Oh, we're going to be on a... People well, coming like, up to us from the street and asking us our red flag. <laughs> I was Excuse me, what's your biggest ick? Having things in their teeth. Having things in their teeth? <laughs> yeah, okay. that's pretty well, like grills and stuff? No, no like no. food. Oh, just like food. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> or flip-flops. <laughs> flip-flops, just flip-flops. Flip-flops. Are we yeah. including crocs in that list as flip well? Flip no, crocs are nice. Crocs are nice. With yeah. socks, I'd have to have crocs with socks. I'm going to trip up the stairs. <laughs> you from like going up they just have to wait for this guy who's just tripped up in front of you like. oh, and, and that would be like an instant hit yeah, no. what's your biggest red flag go on say it littering 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 is, is, is that just when littering. they don't take the mcdonald's meal back and put it in the bin you know well so you'd be instantly like nah i'm not getting with that yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay an environmentalist what, what's your biggest red flag biggest red flag yeah. is when they're in every single girl's likes on instagram <laughs> Okay, yeah. Absolutely Hello. fuck that no, shit. And when they film yeah. TikTok videos. Oh my god! You're not the main character. Sorry, I tried to be. She but tries. But they're really, you know, really bad replies. Not like I'm not talking when they're busy. I'm talking just like you know when they're on the phone. Like dry replies or long replies. Yeah, both. To be honest. Both. Okay. Just give me a nice call. Do you know what I mean? Big toenails. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't have it. So the biggest red flag. The biggest red flag is people that have red flags. Well, so just in general, having a red flag is a red flag. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's that simple. That's the whole that simple. it thing is a. I don't I hate to say it, but the whole it thing is an ick. Simple as that. Okay, yeah, I agree. But is that like if it's a valid ick or just icks in general? No, because I've I've seen some female say wearing a fucking seatbelt's an ick. Like, yeah. are you stupid? Okay, well we had one earlier. Some girl said that if you're on holiday and you're at a water park. When you go down the water slide, if you wait for the lifeguard to say go, that's an ick apparently. Embarrassing. Honestly, no. having a having a red flag is a red flag. Having an ick's an ick. At the end of the day, you've got to be safe. <laughs> the protocols are in place for a reason. You've got to be safe when when you're going to water parks. Okay, so what would your message to the girl who said that be? <laughs> grow up. Fuck off. Grow up. Honestly, <laughs> grow up. Seriously. Get a life, Do you grow know what up. Uni they went to because it sounds yeah. like BCU. I have no idea. We think just like walk past it. Or it's yeah, yeah. quite common to Pe yeah. people and girls especially need to grow up. Simple as. Well, just all girls in general. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's it's that simple. Put, put it's that, that simple. TikTok. That's an Andrew Tate quote. That is. <laughs> <laughs> that's an Andrew Tate quote. <laughs> no, honestly. Doing my head in. All, the, all these red flags and all these things. Doing my head in. Excuse me. What's you guys' biggest red flag? Um. I don't know. Okay, doesn't know. <laughs> My biggest what? What's your biggest red flag in a girl? Uh, a penis. Of course. Yeah. Right. Right. Adam's out. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest ick. It's a tough question. It's a very tough question. Tough question. Um, well, like, if they're not living for God's word or something, I don't know. Like, if they're not living for God's word. Yeah, if you're not living for God, it means that you're just trying to do whatever you want, and then you're like a morally unhinged person. Okay, so someone without morals. Yeah, yeah, yeah someone okay. without morals. Is there anything else where you'd see someone and you'd be like, 
I'm not interested. Like you, the way they're behaving is like not attractive, or yeah. something that they could do that's maybe little that would be off-putting. If they're very like disrespectful towards you, if they swear a lot towards you, um, oh, you put me in a very tough spot. Do you know what, that's, that's a very valid answer to be fair. We've had some, we had a girl earlier say that uh, if you wait for a lifeguard to say go on a water slide, that's Nick. That's, that's just very illogical from them. Yeah, yeah, what, what, what do you think about that? So if you wait for a lifeguard to come and save you, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, so if you're at a water park and you're, on, you're waiting, waiting to go on the slide, you sit down, you're waiting, you wait for the lifeguard to say yes. If you wait for him to say yes and you just don't go, then you, that's a Nick apparently. I don't know what to say to that, to be honest. It? It's, it's, it's quite confused, isn't it? It's very confusing. It's quite confusing. Thank you very much anyway, mate. Hope you have a great night. I don't want to look back, I don't want it like that I've been going too fast, all the girls like that And the fake ones want to see my pulse go flat And my day ones know I'ma pay some back I don't want to look back, I don't want it like that I've been going too fast, all the girls like that And the fake ones want to see my pulse go flat